To learn where components are within their respective grids, you must view the position data window. To display it, press the Menu button. Then press the Position Data soft key. This is the Position Data window. On the left side are the machine coordinates. In the middle are coordinates for the main side. On the right side are the subspindle coordinates. The dollar sign and number 1 applies to the main side components. Under that is the currently active tool, in this example, Tool 7. It shows the work coordinates for X1, Z1, Y1, and C1, as well as the distance to go values for Tool 7 at this time. Notice that the C axis is shown in degrees of rotation, so in this example the main spindle is stopped at 180 degrees. As you learned earlier, the distance to go coordinates indicate how far the tool has to travel to complete the currently active block. Since these values are zero, the computer is not executing the program at this time. The machine coordinate values show the current location of all axes of movement from the zero point established by the machine tool builder. Notice that all six axes on this machine are shown, representing both the main and sub side.